So in this segment, we're going to go ahead and add the pictures for each of our musicians. If you downloaded the original files, they'll be part of that package. So if I just pull this aside again one more time, you'll see in the Prezi folder, Prezi 1 folder, we have pictures for George, John, Paul, and Ringo. We're just going to go and insert those ones. If you insert any pictures to Prezi, you can just download them from the internet into separate files and upload them. Um, and there's different other ways too that you can add pictures. But for now, we're just going to add these ones that were downloaded from the course folder. So I'm going to put this back into place and we'll go ahead and do that. So we're going to start again by just using our, our motion path editor to zoom in on the first musician where we want to do this. And up at the top, you see this uh, insert button here. That's the way to go. I drop that down. There's lots of different things we can insert. We're going to go with the image option here. So you can search online for images. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the files that I've got right from here. They just went right to my Prezi folder, but for those that can't find it, chances are it's on your desktop, and then you'll see the Prezi folder there. And I'm going to go ahead and put John as my first image. Up John comes. He's obviously not the right size. We're going to just move him down here a bit. Just like the text box over here, you can rotate John a little bit if you want to. We can resize him just like so. Looks pretty good. We'll just put him this first picture done. Let's go over to George Harrison. We'll do the same thing. Go to Insert, Image, and Select Files. And Prezi will remember where you went last time, and which is perfect. There's George, and we'll open up George resize him, rotate him, move him into place. There. Looking good. His picture is obviously a much older George. And Paul's also older, and I got you pictures of John. So, on to Paul McCartney we go. Select our file from our download. There's Paul. Now he's much smaller, so we'll have to make him go the other way. Bigger. Rotate him just a bit. And just place him like that. All right. And lastly, we have Ringo. We'll select the file. There he is. Also, much smaller and bigger. There. Pretty good. Okay, so if I zoom back out to the beginning, it's really starting to come together. We've got each musician in place with their picture and their information. In the next segment, what we're going to do is add another uh, scene here between five and the last scene where we pull back out and I'm going to put a YouTube video right below the title which is where it will go after uh, Ringo Starr's circle. So in this video we're going to insert a YouTube video and you can see up at the top insert YouTube video and what it's going to do is ask us for a link. So what we need to do is we need to hold off on that for a second Go over to YouTube and just find the video we're looking for. So ahead of time, I've already typed in a search for the Beatles. And as I scroll down, what I'm looking for is just like a little one-minute video that I can insert at the end of my Beatles presentation. And as I go a little further, I find one called Words of Love. And this is the one I'm going to use. So if I click on the actual video, it starts to play in YouTube. I can pause that because I don't really want to watch it here. But if I scroll down to get more information about this, you're going to notice a link for sharing right here. So if I click on that, it actually gives me the link I need for Prezi, and it's highlighted. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back over to my Prezi, and I'm going to go insert YouTube video again. And this time I'm just going to paste that link right in there directly from YouTube, and it's that easy. I'm going to hit the insert button, and there's my YouTube video loaded up from YouTube. And it doesn't play it right away, it just waits there for me to play it when I'm ready. I can resize it and I can move it into position, maybe make it a little bit smaller. 
Now at this point it's not officially part of my presentation. So in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to edit the path. You'll see down here in the corner the Edit Path button. And that's going to make it part of my presentation next.